Welcome to this edition of Frank Friday. I don't want to talk to you about Squarespace. This might come as a shock to you, but I think that Squarespace is a good thing. As web agency owners, we should probably stop ribbing on companies that are providing a service to those who cannot afford our website as yet. Let's think about this. We are always moaning about clients that don't have enough budget, clients who are asking us to build WordPress websites and then won't pay for support and will penny pinch on everything that we're doing for them. And that's often because these are clients who cannot yet afford to invest in a website that they have to be responsible for. If we're gonna run a WordPress, a Joomla, or whatever website, then there is work in maintaining that. You need to pay people with skills to be able to update, to maintain, to support, to look after that website. And there are businesses that are frankly not in a position to be able to afford that. Many of those tend to be our clients and we get frustrated with where we're at with those people and perhaps they should be using Squarespace. In fact, we have so often had companies approach us who are limited on budget and we've actually recommended that they look at these platforms instead. You see, they could go for something like Squarespace for a period of time whilst they are focusing on growing their business and getting themselves into a position that they can afford web development they can afford the extra services and support that you provide now don't panic i'm not saying go and start a squarespace business there are other alternatives as well you could look at the squarespace model and see if that's something that you could be providing to your niche where you could provide websites as a service using a WordPress multi-site platform and something like WP Ultimo. So here we're getting the best of both worlds. You're able to generate income from multiple sources, except you have one installation that you are looking after and you are supporting. I'll pop some links down below to a friend of mine who talks about this. He's got a course as well helping people understand how they could do this for themselves. But frankly, as this is Frank Friday, I believe there is space for Squarespace, or dare I say it, Wix, or by putting out your own website as a service out there, because there are people who can't yet afford or are not yet in the position where they can have a custom built and running and supported WordPress website. And we should probably stop trying to serve those people with all of the services that we would be providing normally to businesses that can afford that investment. So what are your thoughts? Am I completely wrong? This is Frank Friday, so you need to be frank with me if I'm wrong. Have I missed something? Or am I right and do you want to agree with me? Agree or disagree in the comments below. Don't forget to like or dislike. That's also totally cool. This is Frank Friday. I won't get offended. Now, if you like content like this, then be sure to subscribe to this channel. We put out three videos a week. We've got Motivation Monday. We have What's Up Wednesday. And you are watching Frank Friday. We do this every Friday and we talk about things that sometimes other people won't. So be sure to subscribe. And don't forget to join our community, agencytrailblazer.com forward slash group. We will see you in the next episode.